We got some funny things going on today. Uh, started off the day with some drama, some uh, MetaZoo pricing drama, which I love. I think this is great. And then the shit show that happened with uh, Hot Wheels, which was, hey man, I don't even know what to say about this Hot Wheels drop. I mean, you thought Tops was bad. Well, think again, think again, my man, because you know, Hot Wheels give you a run for your money. But I will say, people in our Discord seem to got what they wanted. Uh, kind of figured it out, talked to each other, uh, figured out you had to keep on ref refreshing the pay page, and then all shit would break loose. You'd get a bunch of errors, you'd have to switch your credit card, but whatever, we'll talk about all of that too. But, um, you know, it's Friday, guys. Uh, hopefully everyone's ready for the weekend. A short week, man, with the fourth. It was a quick week. Things flew by. That killer panda. Oh, really appreciate it. Appreciate it, the, uh, the prime sub, dude. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, the rest of the boys are on the way, and I think you might even get Dave. You might. I don't know. Dave's running a little late, and so is Matt, so we'll see. So we're just going to get the show going. So, guys, let's talk about this UFO prices, because this is great. I love this. I think this is hilarious. So, quick summary. These Black Border Society, blackbordersociety.com, started selling these for cheap. $90 for a UFO. And part of the agreement is you have a min minimum advertised price, right? Like they, they're saying, hey, we don't want you to advertise below MSRP, right? And this, you know, obviously uh, is breaking their little rules with each other. These aren't economic rules. This isn't economy rules. These aren't, you know, it's not like the FTC or anyone saying you need to do this sort of shit. So. This is kind of one of those things, I don't really care. I'm not involved in this at all. So they're selling these for cheaper and MetaZoo was upset, right? That they're selling these. So if anything, this Black Border Society got some great promotion when they when they was busted out. Uh, who was it? Let me read. From Argos, I believe. Uh, it talks about the Black Border Society and saying, hey, they're banned from MetaZoo. You know, we don't appreciate that they're doing this. and. They refuse to talk to us, which, why do I care about your predatory pricing partnership? Like, that's not something I care about. Like, I don't think it should exist in the first place, right? I mean, it should just be sold at whatever the game stores want to sell it at to make money. And, and you know, maybe the resellers then move it up and it, it, the price just truly in a free market. Like, I'm against this in the first place. So for me to stand up for you on this, I can't do it. I can't stand up for MetaZoo on this. I I'm all for Black Border Society. Like, way to go. I'm glad they did that. If you got one for $90, good for you. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, and it goes on to say something blah, blah, blah about it. Um, and at the end, uh, make informed decisions when you decide with whom you associate. I want to keep the tribe safe, ape strong together. Apes strong together, keep the tribe safe. Like that sort of lingo kind of makes me kind of like, what? You're just throwing uh, hype words at me, you know? So get that crap out of here, dude. That is not something I care about. When you say ape strong together, to me that means like, ape, I, I need to pay my mortgage, so you guys better buy this shit. You know, that's what, that's how I hear that as, you know? So it's a little bit different to me. Um, so, the MSRP shouldn't be $140. I think we could all agree on that. MSRP at about $100 makes sense, man. Jippy Chat. What's up, man? What a week, right? And Bro Lecter's even said in the beginning, about $100. That seems right for what it should be, the true MSRP. So to play these games at $140, I'm not interested in playing them. I'm not interested in sticking up for MetaZoo in this. I think it should be what it is, you know, true free market stuff. So, um,. I don't know, that's how I kind of feel about it. So if you got one at this, good for you. If not, I don't think you're gonna find these prices for a while, because I think everybody else is trying to play it safe. So, um, trying to bring the meme investors in. You know, it, it's trying to be cute, I guess. I, I don't know, you know. It's not something I'm interested in, right? I, you know, it, it just doesn't mean much to me. But, um, yeah, if you could get, I, like, I don't know what the price is you guys would buy a uh, UFO at. Uh, I don't really think I would give you a hard time if you bought one for yourself at MSRP. You're like, hey, I want to check it out. I, I like MetaZoo stuff. I'm going to buy one. Go for it. You know, I I'm not going to really argue that. You want to do that. If you're buying cases at 140, what are you, I'm going to tell you right now, what are you doing? I, I would just wait for these to go down after these advertised price things happen because this is what's going on. This is, you know part of uh, how you get supplied, right? You can't advertise these lower prices. So I'd say just wait, man. But if you want to get one, go for it. 
Um, he had some Willy Wonka surprises in Wilderness. You guys remember the golden ticket and stuff? The golden ticket's supposed to get you equity. So how cool is that? Um, you know, and what was it? The bronze was like a Kickstarter box and, and stuff like that. So, And I've seen bundles where it's like, oh, mystery bundle. You might get a Kickstarter pack and things like that. Be wary of things like that, you know, if they don't say how many Kickstarter packs they're giving away and things like that. Like, you give away two and that state's, statement's true. You know what I mean? So, uh, just be careful of things like that. Make sure, you know, it's a trusted source maybe you've used before or someone else has and, you know, knows a little bit more about it. But UFO coming out soon, guys. Uh, good luck to everybody who's going to try and get it. Um, are, is, is anyone out there going to pay MSRP? I don't think so. I don't think anyone would. I, I, you know. Starjack, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We were just talking UFO. You're going to get UFO at MSRP. I don't think so. I think I'm going to wait for it to go down. You, um, I think wilderness prices are about what I want to pay for, right? So let's check eBay real quick. What's a Wilderness Booster Box going for right now? I wouldn't want to pay much more than this. 75 bucks, 80 bucks. 80 bucks, 75. Oh, that's uh, 10 shipping on that. So about 80 bucks. So yeah, I think uh, UFO at about 80 bucks seems about right, you know? I would, I would buy one of those, no problem. No problem. Oh, Jippy Chap, you got one of the pre-sale ones at 90? I think that's a great buy. I think it's a great buy. Uh, 140? No, I'd wait, man. Get Wait for it to get in this wilderness range? I think that's the way to go. Yeah, I'll be, if, if Dave personally delivers it. I think Dave, like, just, you know... He's going to be personally delivering something here. He's on his way. Maybe it might even be Taco Bell. We don't even know. It'll be a surprise. Um, yeah, but I don't know with UFO, I don't know if you guys have heard, uh, like, you know, if they're going to do more tickets and things like that, but obviously there's going to be surprises, so, you know, there'll be some good stuff in there, and, uh, good luck. If anyone's opening anything, uh, post it on the Discord, we'll take a look. But me personally, no, I'm not touching it for a while. I will wait, um, for the prices to drop, or you see a sale like this, $90, I'd get one just to check it out, man. Just to check it out. Go crazy for online play. Maybe. Maybe. My understanding is more collectors than players, right? And that's kind of how it goes with Pokemon and all these games. So, you need the game to grow for sure, and I think this will help, but I don't know. You know, it kind of depends. Depends, you know. Um, but it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt, you know? Something to think about. But again, yeah, uh, with the uh, size being like, uh, what is it? Wilderness size. It's a big set, so there's going to be a lot of cards around. So, again, I'm not worried about and shooting off with all these other kickstarters coming out like soon and all these other games like there's gonna be a lot of attention like being pulled a lot of different directions and ufo might get caught up in the wash man might get caught up all by myself matt is stuck in traffic once again uh dave is was gonna be here but he didn't know what time to be here i guess i guess we didn't give him a set time we're just like dave come on by so he was gonna be here in like 10 minutes maybe I don't think so anymore. He's going to be 10 minutes and I got a text he's going to Taco Bell. So I guess that went out the window. So I guess he's not going to be here. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, we'll see. And especially, yeah, if you're if you get, you're playing for like a chase or something like that, you know, who knows? I mean, this one doesn't have a Bigfoot, you know, but it will have something else, I'm sure. Hamwich, welcome back, man. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, number one time all the time. Yeah, no, Dave number one time will be coming. Uh, he'll be here for whatnot, probably. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Um, less than 80% MSRP. See, things like that, guys, that's something I'm not interested in helping them with. Uh, not at all. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of against those deals. I, I understand that's how the business is. So, you know, I'm not going to be like, you know, they shouldn't use them. Everyone uses them. So I get how they kind of have to, but mm, I would I really hope it was more of a free market thing. And it's obviously not, you know, so that kind of sucks. But hey, that, that's, that's how things are going. So... Write your congressman. I, I don't know what to tell you, but you know, as far as if someone's selling it cheaper and I'm gonna go, you know, not do it as of something, you know, some sort of loyalty to Metazoo, I, I wouldn't do it, man. I, I wouldn't do it. So, and that, that's my opinion on it, but uh, to each their own, guys, to each their own. So uh, that's the UFO stuff. Uh, if any of you guys have any questions about UFO, hit us up on the Discord. We'll talk about it, but. 
just not something we're super excited about, but hey, I don't I don't hate anyone for getting one box. Check it out, man. Do your thing. Um, so this was really funny. We gotta talk about this shit. The Hot Wheels Series 3 drop was just a freaking mess. So what happened is they dropped it two days ago. Or they dropped it yesterday, I'm sorry, and they redropped it today. They dropped it yesterday and they redropped it today. And there was something wrong with the payment processing. You got to the payment page and it would, would never load. So you'd be able to just keep on hitting reload. And I think one in about 50 might, might catch. And then you still had to enter in your credit card info. And then again, hit this processing button over and over and over again until that would work. And you'd get all sorts of different errors and all sorts of crap. So you would see this, it started at noon. And you're seeing that it has this number available. They got rid of it. They're not even showing it anymore. I think it ended at about 9,000. I think there's about 9,000 left. But, um, and you'd see it not moving. You'd see it move like 10, 15, you know, 15, uh, like, 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 you quantity. And you're like, what the hell is going on? And I'm in line. I'm like, I got an over an hour. I just left the page up. I come back to it. I guess, you know, it, it zoomed ahead because everyone, like, just dropped out because everything was broken. And I was able to get back in again. And I noticed the Discord, everyone was getting back in again, too. And if you had the patience and you were able to do these reloads over and over and over and enter in your credit card and have your credit card go through, because not all credit cards would go through. There'd be certain, who knows why, certain reasons why. But you seem to be able to get all the packs you wanted, which is awesome for our Discord. I know two-pack Burt might have turned into 22-pack Burt. I mean, I don't know what the hell happened there. Shit got wild, but hey, man, I got everything I wanted. I was actually in line for four more when it stopped. I was like, come on, man. I was just doing it in between a oh, 44-pack Burt. Wow. Yeah, no, I was just doing it like in between work and stuff. I'd have a few minutes. Okay, here, let me just hop on in here, do this reload thing. Okay, got it. And, you know, move on with my day, so... Um, we'll see how this goes. I don't know what to expect uh, when they sell. Okay, so they so they didn't sell 9,000 packs, is, long story short. So they, they did that first day. They ended the sale early saying, hey, we're going to come back in 24 hours. We're going to try and fix it. I'm thinking, like, what are they going to do different? Like, it doesn't sound like they have much of a plan. They didn't. They didn't have a plan because they just delayed it 24 hours and they had the exact same problem. Now, the payment processor is somebody called Stripe. I don't, I don't know anything about Stripe, but I know I don't want to use them anymore. If I see Stripe, I'm gonna be like, oh shit, this isn't gonna work, you know? So, something to keep in mind uh, if you ever see them. But, so yeah, that, they delayed 24 hours, didn't do anything, and today, people could get more packs, but you ran into the same issues, where you just had to keep reloading, 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 try different credit cards, debit cards, whatever the hell you can, gift cards, who the hell knows? Um, yeah, it was a bold strategy, and it did not work. Um, and now they're just, yeah, moving them all to buy wax. So you can buy these via wax now, and I believe they're going to be released Tuesday. So this was a big mess. Uh, as far as how it's going to like mean like a secondary market, I'm not sure what to think about it yet. I don't know if it shows that there was less demand, because I don't think that's true. Because I was 115,000th in line or whatever the hell it was, or 130,000th in line someone was. Like so, so there was demand. It was it was just the issue of getting them. And secondary market, I still think even if you're just gonna sell these for wax right away and go buy a Funko, I think you can make money on the packs and stuff. So I'm happy I got packs. I think other people are too. And even if you don't like this set, sell it, flip it, get it something else, you know. Because um, the autos and things like that, like I don't think the Bad and the Blade or the Two Jet Z are as strong as the Aristorat and the Auto, but still. Still, glad I got them. Yeah. And, you know, you're going to get, um, if you get lucky, you get a little luck, guys. And you get kind of the more rare, the Cadillac, which is, which I think is pretty cool. But, you know, it's maybe not as cool as, like, some of the other, like, um, <clears throat> low-numbered ones. But still, 36. See, or flip the packs. Hey, man, flipping the packs, I don't think you're going to have a problem doing that. Um, but the problem is, they're selling 9,000 packs themselves. So everything's gonna just going to be, a, everything's just going to be a mess, right? So um, if the price isn't right initially, don't be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't w be worried about holding these because uh, I think people are gonna have a bad taste in their mouth and uh, let that pass. You know, because I think a lot of people who might have bought them just might. You know, a lot of people might have gotten like, well, Jippy, there's you, there's there's 44 pack Bert, and when there's a couple of us in our Discord who are gonna be selling packs right away. So if if that's happening in our Discord, I'm sure it's happening else, uh, elsewhere. So. 
these packs day one might be might be something these packs day one or two might drop really low so this might be kind of a rip sell the cards op like rip open or you know rip sell the like rip sell rip sell rip sell over 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 if they, if they get cheap so but we'll see but i think it's awesome that everybody got what they wanted i mean it doesn't happen too often so it's cool to take advantage of it i think the last one was only fantasy cards what's up the last one i did was um Jeez, the Popeye Funkos. I was able to go through five times. And I was like, all right, I think I'm done now. Um, and, just, and just roll with that. Uh, hold, sell, buy the most hated premiums. Is, yeah, exactly. All these premiums and stuff, you know, I think they're going to go up as time goes on. All these redeemables, man, as people catch on. And I just, you know, I kind of like Hot Wheels uh, stuff so far. Better than the Funkos. And I still, I still, I know the prices don't reflect it, guys. But I still like the My Little Pony shit, so... You know, I'm trying to sell some uh, some stuff around and get more of those, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think the My Little Pony might be a sneaky one, but I know the prices don't reflect that now, so, you know, you can could, you could bust on me for that. I missed that one, but we'll see. Maybe it'll catch on. Oh, and they have spots for the uh, Wilderness Skateboard, so there you go. And free pack. Uh, they still have t-shirts. If you're looking for a t-shirt, you want some coffee mugs, uh, all of that other stuff. Duffel bag, you still get a bikini, and a uh, mouse pad. There you go. Moving up on your stuff. Whatever. They have rugs. I don't know. <coughs> hey, I would not disrespect Princess Luna. Not at all. Princess Luna's awesome, dude. Um, but let's take a look. While we're here, let's take a look at the atomic prices. Let's see how they're doing. And let's see. Is, is Hot Wheels even? Oh, there's Hot Wheels. Okay, I was just wondering. People are just going to be pissed at them. Be upset. Um, let's see. Oh, Mod Pie's back to 40. Okay. I saw him like scooped up a Princess Lunacy. I like all of these. I, I'd buy, yeah. All right. I'd buy a dozen of these. And I might. Uh, it's, it's really, it's not I might. I'm on my way to buying a dozen of these. It's on its way. But yeah, I like all of these. I know the prices are down. Man, I think give it time. I think it might be just so far out. You know, that might be an issue. Jeb Nightcrawler, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got Dave the intern and Matt showing up. They're both, I guess, stuck in traffic and uh, and be a little late. And then after this, we're doing uh, whatnot. We're doing uh, slab singles and uh, mystery slabs where you can win a uh, PSA 10 uh, Sam Sinclair. That's kind of the big the big one, the heavy hitter. So pretty cool if you want to chase some stuff. Um, man. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's a price low. And guys, if you don't, yeah, we got to drop next week. And I think... Uh, we talked briefly about them. If you guys are into uh, Hanna-Barbera stuff, uh, Jetsons are the physicals. Hold on. There we go. Oh, and Huckleberry Hound is your is your grail. So pretty cool, Huckleberry Hound. People like Huckleberry Hound. I don't know why he's going to space. Cause it's a Jetsons version of Huckleberry Hound. Anyone? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you get the one your daughter wants. Good. Yeah. Then you're good to go, man. Uh, I think the Elroy's cool. Uh, Huckleberry Hound, why does he have a helmet on? Hmm, must be like a Jetsons version. Uh, well, with this, yeah. Um, Elroy, uh, George, you got Astro, and you got Freddy. So I think, again, guys, it's pulling the right ones. And, you know, since uh, My Little Pony did uh, so much so bad, you know, I don't blame it. I don't blame you guys, yeah. Sitting out this one, don't blame you. Don't blame you. It seems like older's better now, so maybe if you are looking at something, looking at these older sets, maybe try to build um, yourself a Freddy Funko out of like uh, something like Transformers or something. It could be, could be there's there's total fatigue with these. There's just too many of them. Um, very well, very well could be. But I think just the mm, the rarity one. Oh, it's he's Space Ghost. Space Ghost coast the coast. Space Ghost might be something. Hold on, that just got my attention. Um, that actually, okay, I kind of want the royalty. Uh, Space Ghost is awesome. Uh, if anyone knows, he's old, he was old like uh, as a talk show, but he was like Space Ghost. He was a cartoon, but he'd like interview real people and it was all funny and just, I don't know, Cartoon Network stuff. Um, but yeah, that might be worth picking up the pieces right there. I like that one a lot, man. I like that one a lot. But yeah, I understand, man. There's there's NF there's Funko fatigue. Maybe there's even Hot Wheel fatigue now after this nonsense. People are just gonna be tired of it. 
But, um, you know, as far as the crypto market goes, I don't think there's a better place to hold your money and have it be stable, you know, um, compared to just leave it in the coin. Um, and again, oh, we should have a Mars drop coming up uh, this month, too. I haven't heard an update on it. I'll keep an eye out. But um, it was just a cartoon before that. No, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Screw the cartoon. It's a talk show. That's all. That's all that matters. That was uh, that was the best. But yeah, I like Huckleberry Hound that he has a rocket ship head. There you go. Jets and stuff, why not? But uh, let's take a look. Does, uh, are these all rookies? Um... Uh, no, they have some. People seem to like him a little bit. These sell. They sell all right. Hmm. Hmm. I don't hate these. I don't hate these at all. Oh, the Masters of the Universe set. Uh, I did not. Anyone else? Uh, it was going to be this guy. You can still get it. Three hundred bucks. Three twenty-one. Oh, we have a. We have someone showing up here. Uh oh. Oh, Matt. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Hey. Get on in here. Ah. I was uh, running solo here, doing a lot, of, doing a lot of jibber jabbing. How'd you do? Ah, well, covered a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, talked about I, I, the whole MetaZoo thing with this pricing. My whole thing is it's not, it's not your business. Get whatever low price you can. Don't worry about it. So is our, uh, I know someone said that the UFO on Black Border said it sold out. Is that true? Looks like yeah. it's still built. No, sold out. Sold out. So you can't get it, but whatever. It's not your problem. Get it as cheap as you can. Don't worry about it. Uh, the, there's dim mock rugs. Uh, we talked about the Hot Wheels. How everyone get all the packs they really wanted. So. Yep. Um, Mattel is really pushing Masters of the Universe. Do kids care? No, I think this is an adult thing, and I don't. It's absolutely an adult thing. And I, I'm just not. It's not me, man. It's not me. Maybe it's a little bit older than me. Uh, maybe we can ask Dave. Even Dave. I mean, this is very much a generational thing. I feel like if you were born or grew up in the '80s, this is really more for you. I don't know anyone 30, 35 and under that would be interested. In this no. Person. No. And uh, even that, like, He-Man was that big. Like, all right. I mean, he was just yeah. like a dude in his underwear. I mean, what's going on? It's like, it was, you know, <laughs> like him and Thundercats and all that was and kind Ninja of Turtles, the same yeah. to me. Like, yeah. I, I don't, I didn't really tell yeah. much of a difference between him and Thundercats. Were they? They're yeah. very different. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Similar bad guys, maybe? I remember the He-Man movie with, uh... With Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren yeah. and the yeah. little dwarf thing that was mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, it's not for me. I, I I mentioned this in the Discord. Like, there were some eBay pre-sales, and it didn't seem like anyone cared. So, yeah. And there's uh this next week the Funkos. We're saying people are getting kind of tired of it. So if you want to skip it, we get it. Yeah, I would have liked to see a little uh what do they got? Like a Huckleberry Hound. I want to see a uh, Snagglepuss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we all do. Uh, we all do. <laughs> Freddie Freddie Funko looks like Freddie Mercury. Yeah, I know he's Space suit. Ghost. So, Space Ghost. Yeah, we know Space Ghost. Know Space, Space Ghost, Ghost coast to coast. That's but right. Yeah, he's a, yeah, actual, I didn't know that was Hanna Barbera. Real cartoon. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, I think doesn't in that whole cartoon. I thought that was, yeah, Cartoon Network. Right. I, I didn't associate it with Hanna Barbera. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. That's actually a really good one. I think it's gonna be a popular one. This I like. Yes. Yeah. So that's the only one. This one, I one like. is the only one I like. Yeah. So I build the set, and then uh, I still might like my little pony. I know the prices suck, but I'm gonna like, pick up a dozen. Can you give me a give me a, a look up on the uh, the grail for this? Because it was there was one at 130, and I went back and forth and missed out on it. And now they're at 160. Okay. 130 for a grail. I don't care what it is, even 160. Like that's. I still like these. I still like them. I still like these. And then there's uh, rugs. I think we all passed some nope. rugs. So, nope. uh, yeah. So this about it, man. We covered a lot, man. Uh, oh, sorry, pretty I much it. wrapping up, dude. Uh, yeah. Don't really got much more, dude. Uh, pretty much. We're going to uh, whatnot after this. Uh, Dave's gonna be there. Dave's gonna be there. So if you want to say what's up to Dave, uh, we're gonna be doing mystery slabs. We're gonna be doing singles. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, Sam Sinclair PSA 10 is in one of those slabs. Whoa. Mystery slabs. You gotta tell me which which number it's in. Uh, I don't even know. No, I mixed it up so I would like know. So, so it's so, a surprise for everybody. Yeah. So so that's like kind of that. that's uh, all the other ones I just put in kind of quick and I kind of an, maybe have an idea of where they are. I hear you. Uh, but the first that that one, no, I, I went out on purpose and did not. So good for we'll you. We'll see how it goes. But maybe someone will pull it first and then that ends it and they get a Samsung Clear for twenty bucks and I lose <laughs> out. That's how it goes, man. Thank you, Hamwich. Yeah, I thought it was a good show, man. Covered a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. That's all I got. So join us on whatnot. Let's go. Let's go. Pop a link over if yeah. you guys would like yeah, to yeah. join us. Um. 
And I read in the little thing that, you know, where they're kind of saying, like, hey, be careful who you associate with. It's like, it's not my These business. These weird threats, man. What it's is not that? my business, so man. Stupid. Like, leave this. I'm staying out of it. Like, thank you very much. I'm going to get the cheapest price. Like, good luck. Yeah, like, what do I care about brand loyalty? Like, it, well, medicine. well, no, it's not even like brand loyalty. It's, it's a weird kind of price loyalty thing, like which that is something that's like, it's just kind of like, well... Whatever, get the cheapest price you can. I wouldn't worry about it, man. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, guys, we're heading over to whatnot. There, that is right there. And Matt, as we always say to end the show, pull, pull the big, big one. one. All right, peace, guys. Catch you on the other side.